welcome to our marine knowledge channel this is our sailor basha so this video we are going to give something different about electrical things high voltage so when the vessel go to us port some ports they will insist us to use shore power by disconnecting the generator like ship power they don't want to uh, use ship power because uh, this the idea is to uh, avoid air pollution that's all so what we do is we usually connect uh, take power from shore and then that will be connected to ship power supply so how we do the connection what are all the procedures that we follow that i want to show you as a video please watch this video we'll go and check the video follow safety standard and wear high voltage ppe before working on any high voltage switchboard so now the operation starts the circuit board is in closed condition and before earthing you have to rack out the circuit board for doing the racking out operation you have to insert the lever and turn it to anti clockwise direction so you have to do the turning till the indication comes to rack out position now you can see the indication uh, indication is still in white color and while we are turning uh, you can see the white color indication will slowly change over to black color you can see here uh, so now uh, keep on turning the lever and you can see the white color indication is gone and changed to complete black color finally the racker rack is in out condition as you can see the indication so once the rack out is done the next is to close the earth switch so by press the the earth switch you have to unlock it so then you have to insert the lever crank to clockwise to open the shutter now uh, i am fixing the lever and uh, again the same way you can see the indication of earthing that you need to change you need to check and uh, you have to check the indicator indicator is yeah you can see the indicator this is the indicator so both the operation are done first uh, we have to rack out the circuit breaker and next is to air thing once that is done the next position next step is to isolate the amp control circuit that means you have to remove the fuse from the amp control circuit so we are removing it and do not forget to make a mark over the fuse so that you don't mix with any other thing so we have to remove the amp circuit amp control circuit fuse and uh, keep it safely so okay so three step we are done first is we have to rack out then earthing and then we have to remove the fuse so all these three operation are done so okay so next uh, we have to connect the high voltage cable to the ship socket so it depends upon uh, if your ship is alongside on the starboard side go to the starboard side box and if your ship is on the port side you have to use the port side socket box so now we are using the i think a starboard side these are the levers that we need to open so these are the cables high voltage cables so these cables uh, is a little bit very heavy so we need two people to handle that cable so now uh, we are uh, using the cable to plug in that means we are going to insert in the socket so this socket has a cover so that cover should be removed and keep it safely so both the socket just uh, we have to connect two cables two cables have two different colors and just you have to match with the colors and again cable have a cover remove the cover 
and you have to hold the cable at an angle of 45 degree and then you have to insert in the socket box so if you are not holding in a 45 degree angle it will be very hard to connect it and uh, how you ensure it is connected properly it have a locking arrangement once you push the high voltage cable in the socket the pin the there will be a safety lock that uh, we need to ensure it is completely closed so okay we have to connect two cables huh? so first cable is already in place now we are fixing the second cable second cable also the same way 45 degree hold it in a 45 degree angle and then you have to fix in the socket so okay we are now fixing it in the socket again same 45 degree angle press it and you have to ensure it is locked this cable is really very heavy to hold so always we need two people to assist in fixing the cable so if you feel if this is the safety lock just press it that's all once you press yeah it is now in place you can see the locking arrangement this is the locking pin inside locking pin it should be engaged properly okay so next uh, we have to go to the amp container once the amp container is loaded then we have to connect the amp high voltage cable and uh, control circuit cables to the ship side socket box that is what we are doing now so that uh, the shore cable will be coming from the amp box that box will be kept on board ship by the shore party it will be in a container and uh, you will get uh, shore people's uh, assistance for uh, doing their part but uh, all those cabling connection and all uh, ship staff ship staff should do so all we need to do is we have to connect uh, the amp cable from that uh, shore amp container box to our ship socket box so amp cable will be connected and we have to connect the control circuit cables also so that is what we are doing now okay so you can see the short people show technician is uh, assisting to do the connection but uh, you have to make sure uh, before uh, connecting the cable the amp container high voltage panel is in earthed condition so that you can avoid any in danger any accidents happening this high voltage should be handled in a very very safer manner so always be careful be vigilant when you are uh, working with high voltage switchboard high voltage connections all those things high voltage should be always considered as a danger job as a name itself is very high voltage so be very careful the show technician is connecting the control cable so now uh, once the control cable is uh, connected again next they are connecting the high voltage cable to the perspective socket so again uh, 45 degree angle take it and fix it and lock it ensure it is locked properly that's all once you are uh, 
to fix the cable in place just pull the lever and that lever will activate the safety pin to be in place so next the other cable that's all eh? so now from the amp container box it is to the socket box and from socket box we connected our cable so next is you have to put back the amp fuse in place so we are fixing the amp fuse ensure we are fixing the same fuse back in place because all the three fuse have three different values so accordingly you have to fix the fuses do not interchange then it the function may get deferred okay the idea of uh, giving this video is to give a common uh, general idea to show how in USA the shore connection is connected on board ship so that uh, if you are going to US ports you don't need to panic like how they are going to connect how we are going to do no need just you can follow this video take this as a reference uh, every ship has their own style of uh, own way of uh, connection so this will be common criteria like crack out everything all those things will be common criteria so amp channel amp container panel will be unearthed after connecting the shore power and uh, ships uh, can uh, circuit back circuit back uh,
login is done okay so now you have to check the show uh, go to the amp container reel cable you can see the from the amp container you can see the reel cable is lowering down so that uh, the cable will be connected to the shore connection that means from the power source from outside power will be connected they will lower the cable and shore team will be there they will connect the cable to their power source so once that is done you have to try out emergency stop which will trip the shore power and uh, this is a safety check that we need to do you can see the alarm is also there amp abnormal so once that is resetted you have to reset it reset everything all the after trying out emergency stop all existing alarm should be acknowledged and just close it so now everything is normal so now we are ready to take the power from shore so you have to go to arrival control mode and you have to press auto change and you can see a logo whether you want to change to uh, shore you have to press yes and then once yes is pressed you can slowly the load will be change over from uh, ship to shore connection you can see the load is getting uh, change over and circuit breaker opens automatically now the ship is in shore power okay so you can see a yeah, generator is in offload condition and now we can stop the generator so after watching this video you must have got uh, some idea about how we need to uh, do the shore power connection when the vessel calls your sports so this is just to give a general knowledge about how we do on board ships so each and every ship has their own procedure to do but what i shown in this video will be a common procedure that we need to follow in almost all the ships so this video is just for a idea how we get shore power from shore to ship so thanks for watching the video keep supporting thank you guys